In the weapons trade, business is booming, but not everyone's celebrating. Do you kids know you're exporting terror? Peace activists greeting arms dealers gathering in Brisbane for Australia's largest military fair. This weapons bazaar does not make us safer. This weapons bazaar drives global instability. This year's International Land Forces Expo taking place against a backdrop of prolonged war in Ukraine and growing military tensions over Taiwan. We face a deteriorating strategic environment. Speedy delivery of capability for the ADF will be paramount. Despite the apparent urgency in defence procurement, the ABC's revealed another delay to the Army's most expensive project on record. A decision on acquiring up to 450 new state-of-the-art infantry fighting vehicles was expected last month. Now the companies vying for the multi-billion dollar contract have been told an updated timeline can't be given. And I'm pretty sure there won't be too many Australians out there who would like their sons and daughters going off on foreign operations in a vehicle that was designed in the 1950s and built in the 1960s. Senior Army figures are concerned a final decision on infantry fighting vehicles could be delayed until well into next year when Labor's Defence Strategic Review is completed. And with so many large military projects competing for defence dollars, they fear it could be scaled back or scrapped altogether. Andrew Green, ABC News, Brisbane.